keep your camera on. Okay, good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, today is Tuesday, July 11th, and uh, I'm your host for today. My name is Alexander. I am 34 years old. I live in Russia. I'm not really a teacher. I am not a linguist. I'm not a philologist. I, I'm someone who would like to think of, of himself as, a, as an English language learning enthusiast. And that's what I wish you all to become language learning enthusiasts, because I believe that's probably the best thing if you really wish to improve your English. Now, what are we going to do today? Uh, those of you who have been here before know that we usually discuss some questions, topics, you know, just do some discussions. And um, I'm going to share the screen of, uh, of the questions. And if you could just wait just a second with me. Yes, because um, this Zoom uh, application doesn't provide me with a reliable way of sending you messages in your little groups. And yes, I forgot to, to, to tell you, I'm gonna split you up into smaller groups of two, three, maybe four people. You know, this part is always tricky because uh, I look at the number of participants and I try to figure out how many rooms I need to create, but I'm not good at math. You know, <laughs> I went to the government school, so my math really sucks, uh, which I guess explains why it always gives me a hard time. So uh, I'm going to split you up into smaller groups. You will discuss your uh, the question for maybe five, maybe 10 minutes, something like, like that. Again, if you don't feel like discussing this question, talk about anything else. Introduce uh, yourself to each other. I don't know. Any topic. I don't care. Well, actually, I do care a little bit, but feel free, by all means. All right, let me screen share the um, the topic. Hang on with me just a second. Let me pull it up. Now, I hope you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Nod your, nod yeah. your head or like, let me know. Okay. Uh, as you see, yeah. Um, again, uh, like I said, this um, in Zoom, it is difficult to send you messages. So what you might want to do, take a screenshot or copy paste it. Or you might want to do it the old fashioned way. Just grab yourself a pen a pad and pencil and write it down. So um, question number one, it's not really a question, it's a situation. So apparently, I mean, this guy who tells this story, he has a problem at work and he basically, because he usually leaves work at 6 p.m. like he's supposed to. You guys, can, can you hear me? Because it says my internet connection is uh, slow. You okay? Yes. Uh, okay. Can you hear me now? Yep. All right. Yes. All right. Uh, so uh, the guy, basically, he said his boss threatens to fire him because he usually leaves work at 6 p.m. like he's supposed to and doesn't stay until 8 or 9 p.m. like other employees do. So he's asking, can you give me any advice? How should I handle this? And I've given you some examples of how you may answer this question. Uh, you may or may not use these. You can say, I think you should start staying until 8 or 9 p.m. like everybody else does. Don't be the black sheep. And, you know, don't be the black sheep means Or you may say, I suggest you talk to your boss and tell him what you really think about him. Or you can say, I can't really give you any advice. This is a very personal situation. So handle it yourself. And uh, you might have noticed that uh, there is a word which I've used multiple times. It is the word advice. And I I'm sure most of you will know that uh, in the same manner as other nouns in English, meaning you know, it's, you know, it's an uncountable noun. You can't really say advices or an advice. But I'm, I'm not here to, to teach you how to use it. Instead, I'm going to give you some examples because that's how I believe you learn the language by uh, studying examples. Uh, 
maybe not studying, but just encountering and memorizing them. So you, what you may want to say is, um, can you give me any advice? Or that's great advice. Or I took your advice, but never say an advice or advices, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, uh, I hope you either screenshot your, the question or you memorized it because right now I'm going to stop sharing it and I'm going to switch up into, into five groups. You'll have five or 10 minutes and then I'll bring you back to talk publicly to everyone else. So don't be shy. Don't be afraid. All right. All right, let's go. Bear with me for just a moment. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I hope my math isn't failing me. Let's go. You should have a pop-up window on your screen. Press yes and start your conversation. The situation, how should this person handle this situation? Maybe you have experience like that. So do I have a volunteer who would like to share his opinion on this? Anyone? Yes, Lunar, just uh, un unmute yourself and talk to everybody. Thank you. Okay, I can, I can share my opinion with you about this guy. So I decided that uh, it is very personal uh, situation. It uh, depends on him uh, exactly. But uh, uh, actually, if uh, one person uh, works extra time, it's not, uh, it is out of law, I think. But uh, if I will on his place, uh, I, I wouldn't work extra. I wouldn't work more. Uh, so I'm sorry, you, know, you say you will not or you will work. Uh, I missed that part. I will not. Okay, so you will, will not, not comply. You will not comply. I, I, pre I prefer to, to be uh, white white sheep or black sheep. <laughs> like uh, this. I, I'm not sure if you can say white sheep, but black, I, I black guess sheep. you can yes. say, yeah, I'm a, don't be the, the, the black sheep. Yeah, you, you'd prefer to be the black sheep. Yeah, don't be like others, right? So you you told before Bela Varona this one. Yes, so yes. I decided that it, it, it should be like like white. Like the other itself. way around, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, the other way around. That, that's my uh, uh, opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Linar. Anyone thank else would too. like to, to, to share their opinion? Anyone? Yes, Marian, just un unmute yourself and talk. Yeah. I can. Mm -hmm. I'll try. Uh, so we didn't correctly understand the task. So we discussed uh, our own problems, <laughs> but <laughs> okay. Um, about uh, the situation, uh, I would like, for example, uh, me as manager, I would like to see his agreement because uh, usually there is written his agreement how a lot he, uh, he, uh, he uh, should work. Is supposed supposed yes. to work yeah yes yeah if he works according to agreement uh, yes i think it's no problem and he doesn't have to stay yes but if he uh, goes uh, home earlier then uh, it's written in agreement so yes he's a black sheep and uh, i think this uh, how to say i don't know but uh, he shouldn't do this <laughs> yeah. Well, I think uh, the, the problem here is that he's, everybody is supposed to work until six, but there is an unwritten rule that you should stay up until eight or nine yes, you know, okay. to work if overtime. You... But, but this dude, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to comply. And he's okay. like, well, what the hell? Yes. If it's an uh, unwritten rule, so and if uh, he uh, does all his work during the time that he... Uh, stacks is his work. I say, I think it's no problem to go at 6 p.m. and not to stay longer mm -hmm. because uh, yeah. he had uh, everybody, of, all of us, uh, has uh, their own problems. Yes, families, children. So it's, uh, it's just yes, normally. Yeah, sure. 
Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Anastasia. Marina, I think you wanted to say something. Uh, yeah, I have the same situation. <laughs> I work uh, uh, with both. That, uh, my uh, time working time was until 5 p.m., but uh, we have to stay until maybe 7, maybe 8 p.m. Doesn't It depends uh, from <laughs> mood and uh, my boss. Uh, it was a really strange situation because I uh, had uh, my daughter in kindergarten. I have to go <laughs> to take care of her. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately, it was uh, it's impossible was decide <laughs> this problem. I go out from the job. So yeah, you basically because... quit. You you quit the job. Yeah. Uh, quit yeah, job. I quit okay. the job. Yeah, that's that's fair. Okay, thank you for for your um, opinions. Now. Question number two, uh, this one is a lot easier. So let me share the screen with you again. All right, I hope you can see it now. Very easy question, I think. We, we will spend uh, less time discussing this. Uh, so if you had to pick one age and live that age for the rest of your life, what age would it be and why? Like, I'll, I'll quickly share with you my opinion. I would probably pick the age of 30, 30 to be 30 years old like right now I'm, I'm 34 and you know there is like this uh, so you want to weigh in both you know like physical your you know physical state your health and your wisdom at the same time obviously as we get older we get more more we get smarter we get wiser but again we get older our our our, our bodies start to fail us more and more so you kind of want to find the balance so again, which age would you pick and why? Talk about this in your groups. And when we come back, I expect maybe one or, or a few of you quickly share your opinions. All right, let me recreate the breakout rooms. All right, let's go. Everybody is back. Thank you. Uh, guys, the same, the, the same thing. I'm going to ask you. Tell us, tell everybody, what do you think? What age do you think is the best? Not like the best, but what age would you pick to live the rest of your life? Anyone? Yes, just I unmute. Can try. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I think Sophia was the first one to raise her hand. So I'd let her speak. Okay. Yes, Sophia, go uh, ahead. Thank you. I think that I uh, use the same age as you if I uh, am here like uh, the 30 years because I had uh, the birthday two weeks ago and I'm 30 now. And I think that I should pick this uh, year because it's like perfect and uh, not about health, but just like perfect life. Uh, uh, I have now, and I would like to pick these years and leave these like for another thirty years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I guess uh, like we pick. Yeah. Obviously, like I said, we get older, we get wiser, we get smarter, but at the same time, we uh, lose some of our uh, energy, health, uh, vigor, you know, vitality. So you you get you you want to find the balance, like you know those peak lines intercepting you know yeah but uh, you know yeah. there also we, uh, we when we speak about health it's better to be 20 yeah but i guess uh, i guess when i was 20 i live with the parents i live in another country i don't have money and i don't pick this time you know this like period of time I know, and yeah. now it's better and perfect and that's why i choose three and of course uh we can change our health and improve this it's not like that we live and something happened with us we can control this control our body i think that you understand me i think like yes. go to the sport or do something with myself and i think that this is like the best period and best time for me mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. sophia thank you yeah makes a lot of sense yelena i think uh, yes anastasia I, I see you raised your hand i think yelena was the in, uh, second one to uh, to to want to talk yeah 
I don't know but, how to revise uh, or to write the hand in this. Uh, uh, there, there, is a, there is a button called reactions, but you, okay. you can just read so uh, the sh Show me, kind of indicate me. Yes, I will. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. Uh, for yeah. So my go, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Age, um, I think I choose my own age now. I'm 41, and I adore this age because I'm a wise woman. I know what I want. I know the goals I achieve, and I have a lot of energy. And I don't know what to do with this energy because um, I'm really very energy woman. Yes, and I every day I have active life. So, and um, I don't know. I like my age, and mm -hmm. I think okay, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you, you know. <laughs> All right, Anastasia, I think you wanted, I mean, you clearly want to say something. Yes, about my favorite age. Um, I liked when I was 25 because um, mm. at the time I was pregnant. So I had uh, two children, small like dolls. <laughs> so I could play with them. I had a lot of energy. At the time I was studying in two universities, I also was working, so I was very active and I really wanted to breathe, to move, to do something, uh, to, uh, to develop myself, is it correctly to say? To yeah, develop yeah like to, yeah? to, to, to develop okay. my uh, personality, my, my, my life, well, yeah, yeah. improve my life. Yeah, so... I was happy <laughs> that, but um, I can say that I'm not happy now. Yeah, because uh, I'm a businesswoman now and uh, I have to work a lot. I uh, can't spend so much time with my children anymore. Um, I can't cook anymore uh, so much also, but I like to cook. So, but yes, at the time I had a lot of time. <laughs> mm. So okay. that's mm -hmm. all. Yeah, Anastasia, thank you. So 25, yeah, okay, all right, yeah, good, thank you. All right, guys, uh, moving on to our next question. I'm going to screen sh to share my screen with you again. I hope you can see it. So again, it's like kind of like a, an abstract question, like what would you do or like, so how much money would be enough for you to have right now in order to never work a single day in your life again? And what would you do with that money? Again, like there are examples. I think if I had $10 million, US dollars, I guess, that would be enough for the rest of my life and I wouldn't have to work again. Or you may use Russian rubles. I do not recommend or any other currency. <laughs> If you come from Russia, I think one million rubles would set me for life. And this is a very actually good expression to set for life. Meaning like to have enough money to like one million euros. And you can say, I don't know how much money I would need to be able to afford myself to never work again. So talk about this. This is a hypo hypothetical question. And maybe talk about how you would spend that money. What would you buy? A house, a car, you would travel, you would do all, all kinds of stuff. I hope the question makes sense. Uh, so you, I hope you remember it or memorize it or screen share, uh, screenshot it because I'm gonna stop the screen share right now. I'm going to recreate the breakout rooms and you should see an invitation to this room again on your screen. Our, our time, our time is almost up. Again, guys, one of you or a few of you, how would uh, how much money would you need? And maybe quickly say what would you buy first? How would you spend it? Anyone? I can again, but I talk yes, too much yeah. today. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I mean, uh, that's that's what I usually end up doing when I'm at someone else's meeting like this. When I'm a participant, I'm like, hey, I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk again. I'm going to talk again. And I yeah. guess, yeah. I don't that, know. That, that becomes a habit. 
I don't know which sum would be enough for me exactly, but um, I have several, several dreams. I would like to build my own house. So I would like to buy a tractor because I think it's very nice to drive tractor because I have a lot of grass and uh, I have a forest uh, nearby my uh, land. Uh, I also would like to buy a boat, motor boat, because uh, I live in Latvia. We have a Baltic Sea here. And um, so I would like to go by boat into the sea sometimes. Yeah. And uh, you would like would... to take a, a boat trip. Yeah. Boat yeah. trip. Yeah. So, and um, I'm a teacher. And I would like to build my own school because uh, I don't uh, exactly agree to the education systems as that we have nowadays. Oh, I, 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 I'm with you on that, 100%. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, we discussed I'm teaching already 20 years. Mm. <laughs> I have never said before that I'm so old. <laughs> But yes, and um, my opinion is that uh, boys and girls should study separately. So because they have um, different stages of uh, steps of development. I agree. Uh, I, 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 I just, just, just thought that we don't go too much off topic. So basically yeah. you would buy, you would, uh, would want to have enough money to yes. build, I, I build or school. create your own school so that you can establish your own rules. And by the way, yes, I totally agree with you. Separate. Yeah. Boys and girls would, should be separate. All right. Uh, thank you, Anastasia. Anyone else, guys? Come on. Just there is a slot for one more person, I'm sure. All right. I guess I guess that would be it for today. I mean, if if I were to answer this question, I don't know. Probably one hundred million dollars or euro. Uh, preferably in bitcoins or in gold, uh, but yeah, I'd be happy. In, I'd be happy for any money <laughs> if if that was just a lottery win. All right, guys, uh, thank you for hopping on. Uh, I think we had a good conversation this time. You know, I'm trying to kind of figure out how this thing works. I mean, this has been my fifth conversation, I think. And um, next time, probably anyway, there will be it. It will be announced prior to the meeting when and uh, when we, we will have another meet, meeting and conversation but for now thank you i really loved that uh, many people at least more people participated in the public speaking unlike what we had previously yeah i commend you for that those people who participate who did the public speaking i commend you for that and i encourage you to do to do it again and the rest of you yeah do the same, yeah. So yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you, and have a good day. I'll see you next time. Thank you, you too, Bye. for interesting. Bye. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>